Hare Krishna. Is there anyone else uh, who wants to introduce? And thank you so much for all the devotees for joining. Uh, today we are very, very fortunate to have uh, the class on Brahma Samhita by um, Her Grace Kaumodaki Mataji. Mataji is a very senior devotee and uh, has been giving her valuable association the conference uh, to us. It's our great fortune to be able to listen to her today. Uh, please accept her humble obeisances, Mataji, and please take over. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji, we cannot hear you. Uh, please check if your phone is mute. Okay. Can you hear now? Yes, Mataji, yes. Okay. Because I didn't have the speaker. I have to use the speaker. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venam Shri Chaitanya Manam Vishtam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kala Mayam Dadati Svapadantikam Vandeyam Shri Guru Shri Tapadakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnamamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahaganam Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahaganam Dalita Sri Vishakhan Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namaskate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindamaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priya Namam Vishnu Paraya Krishna Prasaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatharine Vanchakalpatarupyascha Kripasindhupyayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnamibhyo Namonam Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadada Shiva Shadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare so we are going to continue on the Dhamma Samhita, text number 37. I will recite the text, the shloka, and then we will continue on the purport by His Divine Grace, Srinu Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratidavita Bhis this is a text number 37 in Brahma Samhita. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratibha Vitabhis Tabi Yayeva Nija Rupa Taya Kalabhi Goloka Yeva Nivasati Akhiratma Bhuta Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bajami I'll read the translation and we'll continue on the purport. Hare Krishna. I worship the primeval Lord, residing in his own realm, Goloka, with Radha resembling his own spiritual figure, the embodiment of the ecstatic potency possessed of the 64 artistic activities. In the company of her confidant, Sakis, embodiments 
of the extensions of her bodily form, permeated and vitalized by his ever blissful spiritual rasa. The last time we read all these 64 artistic um, attributes, and we ended the last sentence was that, moreover, in the pastimes of Krishna, Sri Jiva is one of the manjaris, so he is conversant with all transcendental realities. Now we are continuing to pass out from up to that. Okay. There are some who, being unable to understand the drift of his statements, give uh, meanings of their own in invention and indulge in useless controversies. This is here, the, his statements, this refers to Srila Jiva Goswami's statements. Continue. Sri Rupa and Sanadhan say that there is no real and essential distinction between the Leelas, visible and non-visible. They are all transcendental. The only distinction lies in this that one is manifest in the mundane sphere, whereas the other is not. In the super-mundane manifestation, there is absolute purity in the seer and the seen. A particularly fortunate person, when who is favored by Krishna, can take, can shake off worldly shackles and connections, enter the transcendental region after attaining the realized taste, realized taste for the varieties of rasa that is available during the period of novitiate. Only such a person can have a view and taste of the perfect and absolutely pure lila of Goloka. So when one realizes the taste and varieties of rasas, so then they are entered into the understanding of this perfect and absolutely pure Leela of Goloka. Reading the purport again, such receptive natures are rarely to be found. He who exists in the mundane sphere can also realize the taste of such uh, of chidrasa by the grace of Krishna, by being enabled to attain the realized state of service. Hare Krishna. So this is very wonderful. By Krishna's grace, baby. So whatever service, how we realize this is by the Guru's mercy. Krishna reveals to Guru what kind of service we can do and how. So then Guru is uh, giving us the service. The main service Guru gives is of the chanting of the 16 rounds, good rounds of the Hare Krishna mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And it's also revealed to us that we are in eternal servants of the God, Krishna. Such a person can have a view of the pastimes of Goloka manifested in the mundane Leela of Gokula. So when we are purified by chanting by the mercy of the Guru and Krishna and getting chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra uh, nicely, so then we can, on a mundane platform, mundane lila of Gokula, we can also, that pastimes can manifest it. Like we have, Krishna has performed pastimes in Gokula and Vrindavan. So that can be manifested. 
Hare Krishna. There is certainly a difference between these two classes of eligible seekers of the truth. Until one attains the perfectly transcendental stage, he must be hampered by his lingering limitations. In his vision of the pastime of Goloka, the two classes of eligible certain I'm speaking very okay one who is uh, in the past, uh, purified state and another one is pure in the purifying stage so those are two again the vision of the transcendental reality varies according to the degree of self realization the vision of Goloka must also vary accordingly. So it is very apparent that according to our realization, then we can understand, even about the, uh, not even, also the transcendental sound vibration of the Hare Krishna mantra also in the beginning, and then easily we chant more and more, then also name reveals different in different way to us because I can tell you about myself when in the beginning I was chanting Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare this mantra I was chanting so to Hare Krishna is Radha Krishna and when when he came to Hare Rama then I was thinking oh yes Sita Sita Devi and Rama so then gradually by chanting and also association with the devotee, then I uh, realized or understood that the Rama is a Nityananda Ram, Bala Ram. So, that, uh, because he is with Lord Chaitanya, so Lord Chaitanya is Radha and Krishna, and Nityananda is Bala Ram. So that's Ram, Nityananda Ram. Then, by the mercy of the devotees, and Guru Vargas, I have, now I understood, I don't know about the realization, but I understood that Hare Krishna Mantra is consists of Radha Krishna Mantra. Because in Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, there are four Krishna in there, and Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, there are four Rama. So this Rama's meaning, of, it's a Ramayati Saharadika Iti Ram. So one who is enjoying his pastimes with Radha Rani, Radhika, that is Ram. So in the Vrindavan, there is a deity, Radha Rama. In the, this is a Gopal Bhatt Goswami has, uh, in, uh, that's his deity, he has worshipped Radha Rama deity in that, uh, in uh, that deity is original and it's self-manifested from the Shaligram Srila because he had 12 Shaligram Srila and one um, wealthy person gave him very nice uh, outfit, now his clothes and uh, jewelry, very nice expensive jewelry. So he was lamenting that how can I um, dress with this uh, clothes and jewelry, the Srila, Saligram Srila. So then he was, then he just put them to rest and then he also went to take a rest and, and then next morning when he came to worship the Saligram Srila again, because every day he worships them. So then he was looking for this Srila, Damodar Srila, but he couldn't find. And then he understood, oh, that Sila, Damodar Sila has turned into Krishna Sila. So that is, that deity, that Sila, is a very beautiful Krishna deity. Radha, so then it's called Radha Raman. One who plays, enjoys pastimes with Radharani, so that's Ram. So this is much I have understood. And I don't have any further understanding and realization about this, but I accept this Hare Krishna. 
It is only those fettered souls who are, I'm reading the trans, I mean, purport again. It is only those fettered souls who are excessively addicted to worldliness that are devoid of the devotional eye. So, Hare Krishna, so by, this is the only way we can do by purifying, chanting, by Hare, chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So then we, our eyes become devotional and then we can gradually enter into the um, realization of this. The past part put again. Of them, some are amassed by the variegatedness of the deluding energy with others, while others aspire after self-annihilation under the influence of centrifugal knowledge. So, though they might have a few, uh, they might have a view of the mundanely manifested pastimes of the Supreme Lord. They can have only a material conception of those visible pastimes. This conception being devoid of transcendental reality. Hence, the realization of Goloka appears in proportion to eligibility due to the degree of one's self-realization. So, we have heard, I have heard many times, and maybe you all also have heard the, this uh, Goloka Lina that Rupa Goswami was envisioning, you know, that uh, he was seeing that, that uh, Radharani is picking flowers to make a nice garland to, to offer to Krishna. So then he, she saw a nice flower on one of the trees, small tree, maybe in a little bigger tree, but uh, then the beautiful flowers and the fragrance was also very nicely coming from there. So she wanted to use those flowers. So she tried and she stretched herself to get flower, but cannot do it. And then she was jumping and still she couldn't do it. And then Krishna was around, so then what he did, he climbed on up to on the tree. But Rupa Goswami, I mean uh, Radharani didn't see that. And then he just climbed onto that, up to that branch of the tree, and with his foot he lowered the branch. So that was good. Radharani thought, oh, the tree is very merciful. So he, she just hold on to the, with one hand, get the flower, and the other hand she is holding the branch, the small branch of that. But then Krishna suddenly lifts her foot up. So then branch goes up, and Radharani is in the air. So the Goswami was observing this pastime, and he was laughing like anything. And at the same time, one devotee, he has a little difficulty in walking, and he was coming there to Rupa Goswami, but then when he, that uh, Rupa Goswami was laughing, and so then that devotee thought that because he was, he cannot walk properly, because of the difficulty walking, so Rupa Goswami is laughing at me. But that was not the case. But the case that this is what he was laughing about, that Radharani was in air, and it was a wonderful pastime. So, but then that devotee didn't come to Rupa Goswami, and he just left, thinking that he's laughing at me. And so he was offended. He took an offense. That because of my bodily condition, Rupa Goswami is laughing. So, but then, Rupa Goswami, when he, his, he lost the vision of this Gorakalina, and he was wondering what happened, why, you know. He looked around, but there was nobody there because that beauty has already left. And then he consults with Sanatan Goswami, his elder brother, and he also considered him as a guru. So Sanatana Goswami said, you must have offended someone. That's why, that's why it may happen. So, but then who that person cannot know. 
So that's Nandan Goswami said that invite all the devotees for prasadam and whoever doesn't come. So that's what the devotee that then get forgiveness and explain things like that. So that's what Rupa Goswami did and that one devotee did not come, so Rupa Goswami went to that devotee and explained to him, so please forgive me and both of them were begging for pardon, forgiveness from each other. That uh, I thought that you were laughing at me and I took an offense. So please forgive me and like that when I made you understand this certain it was so nice dealing with the devotees. Wonderful devotee. So we take also examples, I mean understanding with this so the okay the purport again the underlying principle is this that though Gokula is as holy and free from dross as Goloka still it is manifested on the mundane plane by the influence of the chit potency yoga maya Invisible and non-visible matters of transcendental regions, there is no impurity. Contamination, no impurity, contamination and imperfection inherent in the world of limitation. Even though these pastimes are performed in a, on a mundane platform here in Goloka, I mean Gokula Vrindavan, and Goloka Vrindavan, there is no difference. It is completely transcendental. Even though by the chit potency of yoga mind, the pastimes are visible here on the mundane platform. And there, there is no difference. It's completely spiritual. Invisible and non visible matters of transcendent regions, there is no impurity contamination and imperfection inherent in the world of limitation. Only there is some difference in the matter of realization in proportion to the self-realization of the seekers after the absolute, after the absolute. Impurity, unwholesomeness, foreign elements, illusion, nescience, unholiness, utter inadequacy, insignificance, grossness. These appertain to the eye, intellect, mind, and ego, stultified by the material nature of conditioned souls. They have nothing to do with the essential nature of transcendence. So these are all kind of blocks us from the vision or the reality of the both pastimes are on equal are equal all spiritual both pastimes means Goloka and Gokula both the purport the more one is free from these blots the more is one capable of realizing the unqualified absolute. The truth who has been, this is here it says unqualified absolute. The absolute is absolute every, in every sense. That's what it is like. It's sometimes say, uh, Nirguna, the Lord, Nirguna means no material gunas, no material qualities. So this is also it's absolute, it's completely absolute on spiritual platform. The truth has been revealed by the scriptures. It's free from dross. But the realizations of the seekers of the knowledge of these realities are with or without flaw 
in accordance with the degree of their individual realization. Those 64 arts that have been enumerated above do in reality exist unstintedly in Goloka. Unwholesomeness, insignificance, grossness are found in those arts in accordance with the degree of self-realization on the part of the or part of aspirants after the knowledge of the absolute. According to Srila Rupa and Srila Sanatan, all those pastimes that have been visible in Gokula exist in all purity and free from all tinge of limitations in Goloka. So transcendental autocratic param- paramorship also exists in Goloka in inconceivably purity. Judged by the same standard and reasoning. All manifestations by the chit potency, yoga maya, are pure. So, as the above paramarship in the creation of yoga maya, it is necessary free from all contamination and appertains to the absolute reality. Now, the next, uh, let us pause to consider what the absolute reality is in I- himself. Sri Rupa Goswami says, in regard to these slokas, he said the sloka is Purvakta, starts with Purvakta and, and at the Sarata. In regard to these slokas, Sri Padjiv Goswami, after mundane deliberation, after ma- ma- mature deliberation, sorry, its mature deliberation has established the transcendental paramarship as Vibrama Vilasa, something seemingly different from what it appears to be. This is called Vibrama Vilasa. Such are the pastimes of birth, etc., accomplished by Yoga Maya. By the explanation, the verse starts with Tathapi and ends with Vrajavanitanam in Srimad Bhagavatam. Srila Jiva Goswami has expressed his profound implication. Joyous pastimes by the medium of seeming error is called Vibram Vilas. I will repeat this again. Joyous pastimes by the medium of seeming error is called Vibrama Vilas as the country contrivance of Yoga Maya has also been admitted in the concluding statements of Rupa and Sanatana. So this is what Jiva Goswami has given this. And still since Sripad Jiva Goswami has established the identity of Goloka with Gokula it must be admitted that there is the there is transcendental reality underlying all the pastimes of Gokula because they are non-different. Goloka and Gokula non-different, so that's why as a, as a, it be that's what he says. It must be admitted that there is transcendental reality underlying all the pastimes of Gokula is the same as Goloka. A husband is one who binds oneself in wedlock with a girl, while a paramour is one who, in order to win another's 
vice law by means of law crosses the conventions of morality by the impulse of this sentiment that regards her love as the be all and end all of existence in goloka there is no such function at all as that of the nuptial relationship hence there is no husbandhood char- characterized by such connection on the other hand uh, since the gopis who are self supported real entities are not tied to anybody else in vedlo they cannot also have the state of concubinage there can also be no separate entities in the forms of swakiya means conjugal and parakiya means adulterous states in the visible past times on so here this i want that uh, it has been explained that when uh, krishna is playing his flute and uh, invites all the gopis to take a rasa dance we heard this in also in kalasada mata had explained in a, her class on gopi gita that when they when all the gopis are invited by krishna for the rasa dance and then they all went so then is this question about the the gopis that some gopis were serving her husband some gopis were tending to her child some gopis were doing some other service whatever seva what they were doing they left and they went to krishna so that is what they, you know here so then somebody said oh what kind of you know, it, it is it's, it's not look good to do whatever like you said in your husband serving a child uh, doing serving other um, um, elder persons and like that all the do other household work you doing or milking the cow and things like that cleaning the house and just run away but that form this is what is explained here that swaki and prakriya there is no separate entity on the transcendental i mean here so then now uh, all the this bodily form this they are here with their fa- fathers sons brothers husbands relatives child all this but the spiritual form they have gone to krishna for the rasadans and then it's also mentioned that this rasa dance was gone for let a whole night of brahma one whole night of brahma such a long time but you know we can see how the one night of of brahma is very many so many yugas like that so that is on spiritual platform it can manifest like that so this is what is explained here hari krishna i'm reading the past purport again in the visible past times on the mundane plane the function in the form of the nature relationship is found to exist krishna is beyond the scope of that function as a said function of the circle of all a bow is contrived by yoga maya krishna takes the transcendental rasa akin to paramarshi by overstepping that function that means is husbandhood man like that this past time of going beyond the pain of the apparent moral function manifested by yoga maya is however also observable only on the mundane plane by the eye that is 
and left by the mundane covering. But there is really no such levity in the pastimes of Krishna. The pastimes of Krishna are on the spiritual platform with the spiritual forms of all his loving devotees. The wrath of uh, the wrath of, of paramarship is certainly the ex- extracted essence of all the rasas. It is if it be said that it does not exist in Goloka, it would be highly deprecatory to Goloka because all rasas are there, complete food. It is not the, the fact that there is no supremely wholesome tasting of rasa in the supremely excellent realm of Goloka, Krishna, the fountainhead of all of us, tastes the same in a in distinct form in Goloka and in another distinct form in Gokul. Therefore, in spite of seeming appearance to the mundane eye of outstepping the bounds of the legitimate function by the form of paramarshi, there must be present the truth of it in some form even in Goloka. The Atma Ramopi Arid Mat Atmani Avarudh Swar Saurata Reme Vraja Sundari Vi Yata Varga Patim Viva Viprama. In other texts, of, this is one text. So, in other texts of the scriptures, go to show that self delightedness is the essential distinctive quality of Krishna Himself. Self-delightedness, which is a nice, very quality, distinct from this essential, distinctive quality of Krishna himself. Krishna, in his majestic chit realm, causes the manifestation of his own chit potency as Lakshmi and enjoys her as his own wedded consort with Vishnu, in Vishnu form. Uh, as this feeling of wedded consorthood propound, preponderates, their rasa expands in a wholesome form only up to the state of servanthood, Dasyaras. As Lakshmi Devi, she is serving Vishnu. She always massaging uh, his lotus feet. But in Goloka, he divides up his chit potency into thousands of gopis and eternally engages in amorous pastimes with them by forgetting the sentiments of ownership. By the sentiments of ownership, there cannot be the extreme inaccessibility of the rasa. So the gopis have naturally, I mean naturally, from eternity, the inner sentiment of being others were wise. Krishna too, in response to that sentiment, by assuming the reciprocal sentiment of paramarship, performs the rasa and other amorous pastimes with the aid of the flute, his favorite Sherami. Golok is the transcendental seat of eternally self-realized rasa, beyond limited conception. Hence, in Goloka, there is a realization of the sentimental assumption of the rasa of Paramarshi. Okay, I think it's already it. 
Okay, so I will stop here. I will continue the next time. So, if anyone has a, everything is self-explanatory. The purpose is self-explanatory. But if anybody has some question, comment, some realization, addition, some or correction, whatever, please do so. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji, and the Kachala Prabhupada Ki Jai Guru Maharaj Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Mataji. It is really, really wonderful. And this uh, shloka has really big purport, you know. Yes. Uh, can you speak a little that. louder, please? I can hardly hear. It's very small, soft voice. Yeah, can you hear me now? Hare Krishna. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. Sorry. Uh-huh. Now I can hear. Thank you. Okay, so Mataji, I have a question like uh, uh, joyous pastimes by the medium of seeming error. Uh, Vibrama Vilasa. What does that mean, Mataji? Brahma Brahma means illusion. And Vibrama means very. I don't know. Vishesh. So uh, Brahman is illusion, and we is very uh, we are in very much delusion. So then, they, even though the pastimes are on the spiritual platform, but we see it on, as is in, like they are so considering as is mundane. It's not good like that. Like Krishna perform his pastimes with the gopis, and so that pastimes are usually the people say that it's a uh, un. No, immoral. It's not good that they he's dancing with another wife. That's what it says. Vibrama, vilas. The vilas means pastimes, and these pastimes are misunderstood. That one because the gopis, it is they have. Prabhupada is also in one of the. Uh, I have heard the Prabhupada said the gopis. When in their spiritual form, the body and all the activity on material platform, all the work and whatever she was doing was doing was doing, but the consciousness, the spiritual consciousness by spiritual body, went. It's not that the the, the consciousness went. So then the body it has no conscious. This is yoga mayas. Uh, potency by that yoga maya arranges the passions like this so in uh, that you know uh, Jiva Goswami has written Gopala Champu in there this is very nicely explained that the yoga maya has um, so then uh, Everybody, they are saying, you know, when Krishna has to be in there, they just say, Krishna when comes back after killing all the the, the demons and everything is for Satan, and then now he's ready to go back. So then he then he comes to Vrindavan. And this is Vrindavan Krishna. And so then uh, uh, Jasoda Maya says that... Um, See, you have, there we went to Dwarka, Mathura and Dwarka. And in Dwarka you have thousands of queens. But here we are, here we are Gopa, we are Gopa. So you should marry. But then who can, who? So Krishna said, okay, but who you want me to marry? And she always wanted him to be married to Radharani. And everybody knows that. So then say, okay. So, but then the thing is, on a mundane platform, the Radha and all the gopis are married. Right? And they have, so then that is, in living at that time, is living that how this, uh, by the Yoga Maya potency, all the, um, 
लाइक दादा रानी इज छाया दादा विशाखा देवी इज छाया विशाखा ललिता नई छाया ललिता लाइक सीता देवी वेन सीता रामन इंटरप्ट सीता देवी दैट इज अ छाया सीता द सीता देवी हर सेल्फ वाज इन प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द अग्नि देव सो लॉर्ड रामचंद्र न्यू दैट नाउ द रामन इज कमिंग इन वांट्स टू किडनैप द सीता सो he has rita dei to enter in a in a protection of agni dei and she does that leaving chaya sita behind so this is a chaya sita that lord the ravan kidnapped he cannot touch he cannot even come in proximity of sita dei otherwise he would just burn to ashes immediately so she cannot even see, he cannot even see sita dei that that is how this guy so the same way here also yoga maya is working and he has she has produced the i can duplicate or something like that like a chaya of all this gopis and they all the chaya is doing their services respective services and they are with their husband or their children their father mother whatever they are it's not that all gopis were married they were unmarried gopis as well so this the all the gopis went in a spiritual form to the for the rasalans so this is what is uh, people reading the see they were the discussion we hear this they all went but this is what also prabhu has also explained this in what of the take that i have recording that i have heard long time ago so this is a vi brahma is a vishesh vi brahma vishesh mean more illusion it's a moha yeah illusion in english for illusion that like sometimes we go driving on a road and we see the bc oh there's a water but there's water but in the sun is so like the heat with the heat the vapors comes from the earth so then it creates a illusion that like it's a um, mirage so it's like that it's not hare krishna is it okay mataji yeah thank you very much mataji hare krishna is any more hare krishna mata ji please yes. accept my help uh, yes. mata ji i'm um, still uh, trying to digest the fact that uh, you know the uh, the rasa dance goes for whole uh, brahma uh, one brahma's night so uh, basically it does that mean that uh, you know every earthly days uh, there is a new rasa dance happening and uh, there is one instance of one brahma day night happening for each case this uh, see in goloka we can see one time like in goloka when we say we did we hear from the acharyas and in scripture that they they all these passions are eternally going on in goloka eternally so that passion because it's a spiritual krishna spiritual all the gopis are spiritual and with the spiritual body they have gone to krishna for the rasalan so it's on brahma's night and so that's how it's explained that they have, is going on here it just explain as for brahma's night that's all it's very short time comparing to in goloka is eternally going on does it make any sense yes yes mother so it is it's huh? always going it's always going on in some, uh, some in goloka yes the rasa dance is continuous eternally is going on all the leelas are continuously performed Krishna has Krishna is unlimited, right? So Krishna has unlimited forms. He expands because 
he himself expands himself like you know mundane platform also we can see and understand from the scripture and the guru vargas and that krishna is in every atom in brahma samhita is andantarasta parmanu chayantarasam so and means the universe and parmanu means the atom in el in every all the universes all the atoms krishna is there in everything so what it's not only krishna is there in every living with this living the body 8 million 400000 bodies different kind of species they are in the all the like living bodies there's a krishna there in their heart and also he is in a uh, what inert what is not living force inert matter krishna is there every particle of the it's very 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 deep to conceive this because that's what he says when the you know uh, will hear the the shloka premanjana churita bhakti vilochana santa sadeva hridaya subhilokati and those person who has very completely purified with the love of krishna their eyes are completely purified so they see krishna within their heart and then they see they see everything is they see everything krishna also because they see then no there is nothing that without krishna it also says sarva kloidam brahma everything is brahma brahma means spiritual krishna everywhere and there is one uh, uh, for one poem in gujarati it says brahma latka kare brahma pase so it says brahma is playing with brahma so it's on the spiritual platform everything is krishna but we don't have the purified vision yet actually i shouldn't say we i don't have but still i differentiate like you know we said this is a bed this is sofa this is chair this is table but in, there are so many atoms in there i mean every atom krishna is there in present and uh, super soul super soul is there one time uh, um, prabhupad you know he usually goes every morning to walk and so many devotees also accompany with them with him so sarup that um, sarup damodar goswami he is a uh, phd in a science uh, some but i don't know what kind of but uh, so then uh, he always uh, he was very dear um, every all the devotees were here but he he usually prabhupad would just where is my doctor uh, they say okay present the view of the maya and then like that and then he would say to the prabhupada he said uh, uh, in a drop when you see the drop of some the water or something on under the microscope and like we see water if we just keep in one place it just stays there but then here and then in water we see there so many things moves around move moving there's activity moving movements so then the purpose say yes that's a super soul the super soul everywhere we cannot see that we cannot understand but by we can hear and then we accept and that gradually we can understand yes so krishna is in hindi may it just said kan kan mein bhagwan so that's all in every atom there is a bhagwan there is a lord is there so that is what it is so all everything is spiritual but for the because we wanted to enjoy separate from krishna we do not want so that's why krishna has created this mundane world and that's why we also but is made of three gun three more gunas rajagun samagun and sadagun satagun and tamagun so with that we are also we also have that covering over the soul so we it's kind of it makes us difficult to understand 
But gradually when we practice more and more, and hear from the sastra, which is described in sastra, and also um, all the guru vargas, they also explain this, that it continues. When this is a temporary world, but spiritual, in Bhagavad Gita also Krishna says, that the, this is a Sanatan world also. This is mat- temporary, the last one. But that is Akshara. This is Akshara, it's the last one. Then it's being destroyed again and again. So, I don't know if I can make you, I mean, well, may explain to you more of no, Mataji, thank you. Yes. Yeah, there are so many Brahmas, unlimited Brahmas, because unlimited universes, unlimited Brahmas. So we are talking about this one in, small universe and this Brahma's night. This is the smallest universe that we are in, and that this uh, Brahma's are four. He has a four head. He's a four-headed Brahma. But the universes, there are another bigger universes. So they have 10-headed Brahma, 100-headed Brahma, 1,000-headed Brahma, million-headed Brahma. So like the universe is bigger, the, the, more, the, the Brahma has more heads. So that's how it, it is going on. And then, but they're all Brahma, all this creation, when Baha Vishnu breathes in, all this universe goes in, enters in, with all the jivas in Baha Vishnu, enters at Brahma's night. I mean, when Brahma, yes, Brahma's night, and when Brahma's day, all that comes out. And Brahma again creates and makes everything like that. So how he is so he so he's just eternally going on Bhutva, Bhutva, fully he's just going every day like every day we are doing so many activities like and at night we go to take take a rest we sleep and as we wake up then we start doing automatically whatever needs to be done like we clean our body and then make some arrangement to worship the Lord or. We have to go to work, so then prepare some to take with us, or, and some like that. Everything, all the activities are going on. They, it's been done automatically, like the schedule, like in machine. When you uh, press the button, the machine is already programmed. So it does automatically, it just goes one by ten, whatever is programmed for. So that's how we are also. <laughs> we are programmed because we do all these things gradually. So, but now the program, before we took the spiritual platform, uh, spiritual life, we were programmed in Monday in May, so we were acting as that because our consciousness was there. And now by practicing, so our consciousness being changing little bit, little bit, becoming spiritualized. So we are engaged in spiritual activities. So that is how it can be understood Thank you, Mataji. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Does anyone have any more question, comment, correction, realization? It's nice to hear. Otherwise, uh, we can it's 8.25, so we can end the class now, Mamataji. If there is no, no one has any saying. Hare Krishna, Lali Tangi, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Lali Tangi, Mataji, are you there? Haribo? Maybe she's not there. Doing. Yeah, she's doing some services. She's there. 
My husband, he can also give some time class. Yeah. Uh, but that's but then uh, he has to know ahead of the time. He can, like, ahead of the time so that he can prepare. He likes to prepare. And okay. it's nice. Yeah, so then. So I will call you, Mata Ji. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mata Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Mancha Kaputa Rupyasya. Pansindu Bhiva. पतिताना पावने जो वैष्णव जो नमो नमः अनंत कुटिल श्रवण की जय श्री प्रभु की जय